This week on Life on Jupiter, we are cold, we are hungry, but we've made it to the Gulf of Mexico. But can we make it to the Halloween party with Jimmy Buffett? <laughs> So these locks, and a lot of them have these, called a floater. Some people, some of the locks call them a pin. They go up and down with the water level. A floater being, there's a big tank there full of air, which makes them stay on the same level as the water. So you can tie to it, and they'll go up and down as the water level changes. But, sometimes they get jammed up with sticks and logs and stuff. And we saw recently on uh, one of the uh, Looper Facebook groups with a, a lock that was rising, the floater got stuck down. Suddenly, their boat is being pulled under as the water level rose and the horn cleat was holding the boat down. And of course, if that was to happen, this horn cleat would load up and it may be impossible to undo. Have a sharp knife standing by. You may need to chop that line. Probably the highest lock we've been in. Wow. <laughs> you that. sure? I think it's in Buffalo or Chicago. Well, I don't know what it was, but... Yeah. There's a floater, you can see it over that side, close to the, that wall. So you've got, you can't take these end ones with a long mast sticking out because you'll lose your mast on, the, on that silk. It's like being in a garbage compactor in uh, Star Wars, yeah? 3PO! 3PO! tree behind that. 8.9. I don't know what channel they're on. <laughs> We're on 16, but nobody talks. Are you trying to talk country Alabama accent? All the way from Mobile, Alabama. It's a bit Aussie still. Yeah, probably. <laughs> As evening approached, 
we found a wide spot in the river to get out of the channel and out of the way of the barges. But this one was really shallow. Thank you very much, Locke. Can you tell us, is this the last one between here and Mobile? Yeah, Roger that, Captain. The last one on the, on the river. Uh, it's, you ain't got nothing in front of you, but uh, the river is about 100 miles. You'd be in the bay down there, Captain. Well, that's great. We uh, started doing locks just north of New York, through the Great Lakes, and now down the middle, and it's been a great experience. So thanks very much to all of you guys. Roger that, Captain. Glad it was a good experience. You've come through quite a few then come that far, so uh, y'all have a safe trip on down there, Captain. It's been, uh, we could definitely use a supermarket. In fact, it's been uh, since Paducah. Okay, I'm only guessing it's probably 800 miles ago. 
maybe. <laughs> maybe between five and eight hundred miles ago. Paducah was the last river town where we could actually... Oh, we couldn't even get to a supermarket there. No. Supermarkets are just not in the town. They're out on the highway, which is, you know, a long way from the town, usually. These big supermarket chains have just taken over. All the little supermarkets have died, I guess. So, um, it's very hard to get access to supermarkets on the loop. Uh, it's a rare thing to find one near the river that you can walk to. But we've hit some milestones today. We are less than 100 miles. We're 90 miles to go to Mobile. We just went through the last lock of the, for us anyway, for the entire loop. I think, you know, even if we were to continue to Florida, I don't know if there's any more locks. Uh, is this one of yours? <laughs> Princess has taken on these uh, remaining dragons as pets now. They're the, the last survivors. <laughs> this little guy. He's so cute. Uh, maybe can't see on my... Oop. Ooh. Wow, he can fly now. He's a healthy one still. Yep. Oh, he's going into our bedroom now. Oh my God. He's going to die. He's going to sleep on your pillow. <laughs> uh, big day for us today. The weather is going to turn warm. That's the big day. And the it's sun is day. out. The sun's already yeah. out. So it's a good sign. Oh, and the other thing is we're finishing the loop today. Yay! We're actually seeing the ocean today. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. We'll just be looking at it because we're not going to go outside uh, into the ocean. We're going to go down Mobile Bay and then hang a left along the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway to go to Pensacola. Where we'll put up our mast. Hopefully, if that all goes to plan, yeah. we can get our mast up again and become a sailboat. Yeah. All right, we should get going, B. We uh, haven't been ashore for maybe 10 days, accumulating a bit of a trash pile. You ready? Let's get going. Let's roll up these awnings. It's cold. Oh, Jesus. Wait a bit. It's freezing. <laughs>
Thank you, sir. Sorry we weren't a little earlier. We could have caught that last one. No problem. I think they have trouble understanding my accent. <laughs> so tell me what did you say? I didn't understand. <laughs> you didn't understand me either. <laughs> really? His name is 14 Mile Bridge. That's his name. 14 Mile, 14 mile Bridge, 14 Mile Bridge. This is Jupiter 2, Jupiter 2 on 13, channel 13. And he'd already seen us. He said something said about he will. something's got to clear and then he'll open it up for us. So. Okay. And then I said, sorry we didn't get there earlier because we could have gone through at the same time. But I just didn't, I didn't know there was any bridges this low. Yeah, and suddenly it went down. Because <laughs> it was up, yeah. <laughs> yep. Most bridges stay up. Yep. These railway bridges, most of them stay up unless a train's coming. Yeah. It must be a train coming, I guess. and found a free dock here at the convention center and a supermarket only eight blocks away so we're hungry we've got to go to the supermarket I guess we should give way to this train yeah are we gonna cross the road yeah $350 worth, it's uh, halfway provisioning for our Mexico trip and get to enjoy some of the pleasant trees like pumpkin pie, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. And now we're going to walk back 15 minutes carrying all the shopping, so it's always the hassle.
Thank you, Convention Center. Let's get some shopping done. Now let's go. Well, we've got a little taste of Mobile. That's a pretty cool town, actually. Has a little bit of a New Orleans vibe, I imagine. I just imagine because I've never been to New Orleans. So now we've got 30 miles to go to uh, get to the other side of Mobile Bay, turn left in the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway, and maybe we can tie up at Lulu's restaurant, Lulu Buffett. That's correct, Jimmy's sister. I wonder if she's gonna be there. I wonder if Jimmy will be there. We were only a day or two away from putting up the mast in Pensacola. Before we got there, I had to get some work done. And Princess had a job she'd been putting off for a while. Sometimes it's hard to entertain children. Ready? Does it fit? <laughs> oh my god. Told ya. How about me? Let me see, let me see first. Oh, why well, you removed it? Ah. Uh, That's it. It's a long way to go, B. Let me see. Need four Let's inches try. more. It fits you. <laughs> Who fits? <laughs> uh, uh, <Turn> <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Well, it's pretty close. <laughs> Did you do a dance or something? Mm -hmm. Proper. Come on. Yeah. Move it, move it. It got to move it, move it. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. We were hoping to make it all the way to Lulu's restaurant, Lulu Buffett's restaurant. We ran out of daylight. Didn't realize that we spent so much time at the supermarket, so we're about an hour and a half too late. Hoping to see, uh, you know, Lulu Buffett's restaurant with, it's Halloween tonight, in case you didn't realize. Um, but yeah. Unfortunately, all we're going to do is we'll motor past the restaurant tomorrow. Would have been cool to spend uh, Halloween with uh, Americans. Oh well, we're out here on the boat alone in Mobile Bay. We are in the salt water again. We're in the waves again. We're at anchor and we have some waves. It's been a long time. So that's exciting. Tomorrow we'll make it to Pensacola. And that is the end of our journey here in the States. Challenges to put up the mast. We've got about a week 
before we must clear out. So fingers crossed that all goes well. Hopefully it will. And then it's Mexico. Here we go. Happy Halloween, buddy. Cheers.